I do love photography. Um, I think it's very democratic, but it's also one of the most limited medium because it really is always, it's such a frozen moment, it only shows the surface. A lot of people will use it to kind of describe their point of view. I don't like that anymore. I, I like work that kind of gets people talking and kind of goes somewhere else. My name is Kurt Tong. I'm a visual artist. Uh, I was born in Hong Kong, but I spent most of my life living in the UK. And I just came back with my young family about three years ago. The project that brought me back initially, it's called The Queen, The Chairman and I. It's through my family. It tells uh, the whole history of the Asian diaspora. And the way that project is exhibited is actually inside a working Chinese tea house. People can interact within the tea house, sharing their own family story. I think what really ties my career so far together is all the work is always inspired by what's happening around me. Every piece kind of questions the boundary of what makes photography, how, how to define it. Kutsalti Prince is the project that entered for the, the Wingmaster Award. It's a satire on the art world of photography. If you look at Kutsalti, it's actually my name, Kurt, and Saute, it means dirt in French. Instead of using ink, I wanted to use dirt as um, the printing material. I used the same picture, it's actually just a, the skyline of the Victoria Harbour. I photoshopped the skyline out so it's kind of plain white paper. I applied glue onto the, the white area and went to different areas of Hong Kong to collect dirt. Generally it takes an afternoon really to collect the dust and it can only be done on a day that the weather's dry so you can really only do one print a day. Uh, it's not a scientific research. The whole point of it is it's visually show what's in the air because that's what the glue's picked up and to, spot, to start to beige when people look at it and go, oh my goodness, that's where I live and look like how dirty it is. A lot of the research points to traffic fumes and I think I'm sure that's one of the issues. Um, I'm sure Hong Kong has a lot of cars in a relatively small space. But also I've read a lot of research about how the pollution do come down from the factories in China. So I really think it's a mixture of the two. It's trying to strike a balance between economic growth and controlling the hours of factories being open. There's also one print that entered. I left under my sofa for two days. That's where I spend most of my time. I kind of wanted to know what's, what am I breathing in at home. And actually, the air is everywhere. It's not just on the roadside. It's not just in Cosby Bay. It's where you live, where you work. I think it's the most powerful it's ever been. Um, if you consider it as a, as a brain map, Photography is the word in the middle and it's kind of extended in a lot of different arms and I'm kind of experimenting each arm individually with making different works.